All right, so I'm just sorting through my stuff, moving into this new house, and I came across my uh, old backpack. Uh, the one that I used for a few years uh, traveling around the world with my brother. And I wanna show this backpack to you before I retire it, because this is, this is done. This backpack has done its job. <laughs> it's pretty done. Uh, but it was an awesome backpack. I mean, I guess it could still be fixed, I don't know. I don't know. It's, at a certain point, you have to sort of retire stuff and just recycle it and get some new uh, stuff that works better. But this backpack was awesome for so many years, and this was everything everything I needed to travel for months on end in tropical locations was in this backpack. So if you if you read my you know my book, The Way of the Fruitful Traveler, where I talk about uh, how to go backpacking, lightweight backpacking in the tropics, and etc. Um, you'll know uh, some of the stuff that I brought and you know what to pack and this is the backpack that I used so you, need, you know you see these backpackers go traveling with these huge backpacks that's that's like torture why would you do that you're out traveling the world you want to see the world you want to be free and then you're bogged down by this like 30 kilo backpack now get a small backpack like this and just travel with like five kilos that's what I did. That's what we did, Mads and I. We had one of these each and uh, it was splendid. So let's take a look at this backpack. Really epic backpack from Sativa, the brand. It's made of hemp, cannabis, very good material. Uh, so initially, of course, there wasn't a hole up there. <laughs> this happened. but So it looked like this, but we did a few modifications to it. So let's look at, take a look at the modifications first. We added, when we were in Bangkok, we went to a tailor. There, it's really cheap in Bangkok to go modify your clothing or whatever. So we just went and find, found this really nice tailor. And she put on, she just threw on this, this bottle uh, things on the side with the stretch. They're way too stretched out now. But this was a perfect place for us to keep our water, our drinking water. You know, have it easy on hand and uh, a good way to carry it. This, this was to keep our Vibram Five Fingers or our sandals. We had only one pair of sandals and one pair of Five Finger shoes. And uh, the one we weren't wearing at the time, we would just put in here. And we could also strap some other things in there as well. So that way we optimized the space on the backpack. And then inside, there's nothing special really. It's just, it's just a big one room, just a single room, but there's a little bit of pouch here. You know, just for your passport or whatever, like a safety pouch. Very practical. But other than that, it's just one big room. And this is a small backpack. I'm gonna back a little bit so you can sort of get a look. I mean, it look, it's falling, completely falling apart now. But just to give you an idea, it would just be on the backpack like, on the back like that. Uh, quite small, but incredibly um, versatile and the amount of stuff I was able to fit in here is tremendous. It's just, it goes really, you know, it can go really wide like that. And we would just put a, put something um, like a cutting board or something in the back to make a little bit of a firm plate to, um, onto the back. So that's the backpack. I brought this backpack with me everywhere, everywhere. Uh, it's an amazing backpack and uh, I guess now I've sort of upgraded it. I have a backpack from the same brand. I'll get it. So here's my new backpack. It's the same brand, same kind of thing. Uh, it's getting it pretty worn out as well. Uh, you know, when I get something, I, I really use it. Uh, so that's okay. Uh, same thing, but it has two compartments. And it also has like this laptop thing because that was the problem. We were traveling with laptops eventually, you know, and we wanted to have have a little bit more protection for our laptops. And Matt has another backpack. And yeah, backpacks, you know, they're a, an essential tool for a traveler, obviously. But in life in general, I find backpacks to be one of those things that is worth investing in to get a proper backpack that feels good, looks good, uh, durable, lightweight, um, and... Uh, just does the job, you know, does the job. So if you go out traveling, check out my ebook 
the way of the fruitful travel. We got lots of tips in there about what to pack if you're going on a tropical adventure. And I think one of the main tips in the book and in general, if I wanted to give you a tip right now, it would be to get a small backpack. Like, you will fill up your backpack. That's just how it is. When you go packing for traveling, you're gonna fill up your backpack almost no matter what. So if you get a small backpack, you're forced to prioritize more, eliminate stuff and make sure that what you actually bring is uh, actually necessary. Because it's easy to just bring along stuff that you don't need, like this stuff here. We had like, this is like a mosquito net that we bought way back in the day. We never ended up bringing it because we realized Anywhere we go where there is a problem with mosquitoes, they got mosquito nets there in the in the hotel or on the bungalow or whatever. And if not, you could just go out and buy it. Because of course they're gonna sell it everywhere if it's a problem with mosquitoes there, which tends to be an issue in the tropics. So don't just bring along stuff just in case. Bring along what you actually need and what you and then cut down and prioritize. You know, you don't really need more than one or two t-shirts. You know, that way you keep it lightweight. Anyway, I just wanted to sort of make a tribute video to my dear backpack. Uh, it was great, it did its job. It's falling apart everywhere. I mean, it's completely completely done. Uh, but that's that's what it is. It's organic material, you know, it'll, it'll go just right back to becoming earth quite quickly, very biodegradable, biodegradable. So uh, no big deal. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day, go traveling if that's what you want and check out our website and our ebook for tips and feel free to send me an email if you have any questions about traveling or even if you want to do some coaching, I can do that too, like travel coaching to get you, um, you know, talk about what to pack and how to get going and how to make your life fit your, your dream, you know, like how to make your life become a dream life. And if that involves traveling, then I know all about it because I've done it myself. Right now, I'm not traveling as much. I'm slowing down a little bit. And that feels good at the moment. That's all for today. Hope you're having a good day. Go traveling if that's what you want. Check out our website, ebook, for more tips on what to do, how to, what to pack, how to travel, how to make it all work, how to make your life awesome. Get a nice looking, durable, small backpack. And off you go into the world. Thanks, bye.